today as 16 more patients succumbed to the virus. And with the rising numbers, President Huru Kenyatta has convened an extraordinary session of the national and county governments scheduled for Wednesday next week. Nanok Loren reports. As the country has continuously exhibited high COVID-19 infections, a sixth extraordinary session has been convened by President Huru Kenyatta for Wednesday next week. The meeting will review the current status of COVID-19 in the country and will include both the national and county governments. A statement from State House spokesperson Kanzedena says the session shall consider the evolution of the disease as well as the epidemiological models on how COVID-19 may propagate gate within our country over the months of November and December 2020. She further says the session shall also review the efficacy of the containment measures in place as well as the impact of the easing of the restrictions that were in place. In the last 24 hours, 1,018 new infections have been recorded, bringing the total tally to 51,851. 426 patients have recovered from the disease and 16 others succumbed to the virus. Nairobi County leads with 199 cases, followed by Mombasa with 170 new cases. In Kisumu County, the County COVID-19 Multi-Agency Committee held a meeting co-chaired by the County Boss Professor Nyang Nyongo and County Commissioner Josephine Ouko to address the rising numbers and set urgent measures to lessen the infections. A number of counties have paralyzed their county functions among the Mombasa County Assembly that has been shut down for two weeks after four MCAs and three staff members contracted the virus. Bungoma County Assembly has also paralyzed its functions for two weeks after six MCAs and seven staffers were tested positive. Wasingishu County Assembly was also shut down after one MCA Giro Chomba succumbed to the virus. Three secondary schools have been shut down in Mobasa County over COVID-19 infections. <laughs> Nanoclorin, TV 47.